Hi, you're watching Amitha Verma, creator and founder of Village Antiques. And today I wanted to share one of my most favorite subjects of history with you. There was one point in my career or my studies where it became very clear to me how important the history of furniture and architecture is. And it became very clear to me what our furniture says about us how meaningful the furniture is and why I like to say it's almost like a time capsule. Each of these histories or time periods, civilizations, and parts of the world had and have their different influence on the history of furniture and the designs of furniture that come out during that period of time. But one of my very most favorite periods is the style of Louis the 15th which was one of the monarchs over the kingdom of France. And when we look back on the history of architecture of furniture, every country, every civilization is marked by different people, different technologies, and different standards. When you're looking at French furniture, the style of furniture was really under the monarchy. Who really gave out the design concepts and who kind of led the team of artisans and craftsmen, fabric that was imported from all over the world to create the style of that century. And under these monarchies, there are different styles that are associated with their monarchies in the period of time that they represented. Louis XIV, the Sun King, the style under his monarchy or his reign was often referred to as the Baroque style and it was very powerful, very bold and bright statement pieces and oftentimes you might look at these palaces, these chateaus, these images from history and think, oh my gosh, that's so over the top, that's not me. But a modern day reference to the style of Louis XIV was the sun symbol and I know from my store, my home and my own design projects we cannot get enough of the sunburst. Everyone loves using the sunburst. We love the shape, we love the gilt, and there's so many different wonderful interpretations of them. And that came from Louis XIV. Moving on forward into history, Louis XV. I know many of you resonate with this style, but perhaps you don't know the history behind it. And I wanted to reveal a little bit about that history and what that might say about you. So Louis XV was a very, very lavish king. He had numerous mistresses, and perhaps his most famous mistress was Madame Pompadour. I'm sure you've heard of her. As well as being his main mistress, together they really helped define the style under the period of Louis XV, which is now known as the Rococo style, which really moved away from that heaviness that you saw in the Louis XIV era. You started to see a much lighter approach to furniture, fabrics, colors, and patterns that were brought in under this reign. Here is a very beautiful Rococo inspired antique curio cabinet. It really speaks to what Rococo is all about, which again is reminiscent of nature, like the shell carving, the beautiful acanthus carving here, the scrolls, the cabriolet feet, and the very organic lines and movement. This is the very essence of the style of Rococo and all of the gorgeous design motifs that came under the reign of Louis XV. A lot of the motifs were really embracing this lifestyle of carefree and whimsy and enjoyment and the kind of pursuits of happiness. So you would find the shell motif floral motifs, very loose geometrics, animal shapes in the hind legs of the feet of the furniture, and very organic, carefree pieces that reference nature and movement. The king was very much impressed with the country life or idyllic pastoral life, and often this is what started to become depicted on toiles. All of it was really devoted and dedicated to a lighter approach. What I really loved about this era and what it says about me is not so much that I'm a very lavish person and I want excess, but I love the idea of lighter furniture. 
that's carefree, that gives me that organic movement and brings in the motifs that really speak to nature that I love, like the floral motifs and the shell motifs and the sea scrolls and the escrolls. So now that you know a little bit about the history, you are going to have so much fun when you're on the hunt for that special piece for your home. All these gorgeous decadent moldings and carvings are just going to be so much more meaningful to you. And if you love it, you know why. And if you don't love it, you know why. And it really helps you identify with the right piece of the furniture for you. So I ask you, what do you think people who are studying the history of architecture and furniture will think about what our furniture says about us? a hundred years from now. Thank you so much for watching this week's vlog. I know it could have been a little bit of a snooze fest if you're not a historian, but I really wanted to share my passion with you about the history of furniture, where it came from, what it says about the past, and what it might say about you. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and definitely share it with a friend. Thank you so much and I look forward to seeing you around the shop.